In this lesson we will create rectangles which are a very important part of the entire animation. Open up the template you had, go to insert, shapes and select a simple rectangle. Click on the rectangle and by pressing down and holding the shift key you can have perfect proportions on the rectangle. We will create five of those rectangles, so I select the first one. Now I want to align it completely in the middle. I go to Align, Align Center, Align, Align Middle. So now the rectangle is completely in the center. I want it to be a little bit smaller, so I can do this either by hand or by going to the Size section and making it about 9.5 centimeters. Now it is 9.5. I make sure it is still aligned on the center. If you are not sure about the position of the rectangle, go to View and open up Guide. This shows you exactly where the middle is and as you see the rectangle is now perfectly set. Go again back to the drawing tools and as you see I have a blue rectangle 9.5 cm and it's exactly in the middle. If you are in the same spot you have a ready rectangle, please select the rectangle, go to drawing tools and change its color. I made the first rectangle, which will be completely on the back, to a grey color. You can select any color from the grey scale, for example a dark one like that. Now there is something important which you need to do through the entire designing process. By having selected the rectangle, go to drawing tools, open up the selection pane and rename the objects you have selected. It will be easy for us to remember what we are editing if we name all objects. I will name this object rectangle grey. So now I immediately know which object I am editing. The only thing we need to do now is repeat this step four times. I select a rectangle, I click Ctrl C, Ctrl V and as you see a new rectangle has appeared. I see there is some blue outline, so I go to Drawing Tools, Shape Outline, No Outline. Once I've copied this rectangle, I go to Drawing Tools, Shape Fill and I select a bold red color. I place it in the middle, so it covers up the grey one. And remember, you need to rename it. I name it, of course, Rectangle Red. If you are not certain which object is selected, you simply press the eye icon here. Now we have no trouble, but if there are more of those rectangles, it will get a little bit messy. I go ahead and copy the rectangles. I select the red one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. This is perfect because PowerPoint automatically puts the rectangles above each other. So this will be orange because we'll have a orange logo. I once again select no outline because I'm not sure if the outline isn't there. And I select a nice orange color here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. We are nearly done. You can of course select other colors depending on, on your logo. But for this design I want it, it to be colorful, impactful and it has to make a nice impression. So I select very contrasting colors between each other. Once a blue color is revealing, a orange is following up. You really see the difference and see the power in that. I rename it to blue. And now something important, the last rectangle needs to be the same color as the background. So I will use a black background, so I go shape fill, I make the rectangle black, I include this here, I put it over, and now I select format background, solid fill, and I fill the background with a black color. Once all the colors appear, the last rectangle needs to be the same color as the background. If you will go with a white background, you just recolor this last to a white color. So now we are done with the rectangles. This was a slow lesson, but I really hope you are following along and please do open up PowerPoint and prepare five rectangles just like I did. If you do want other colors, there is absolutely no problem. You can always deselect them, select the right objects, go to drawing tool and change the color to any color you would like.
Let's go to the fun part now and start animating the rectangles. 